In St. Louis, Missouri suburb, the Woodson Terrace Police Department is investigating a video surface showing officers allowing a canine dog to repeatedly bite a black man during an arrest. Officers got called when a man refused to leave a business. Roll a video, please. Guys, thank you. Officers got called when a man refused to re refuse to leave a business. Now, this is the video you see what happened when the police arrived and they had pretty they had the man pretty much subdued, yet they just continued to allow the dog to attack him after he was subdued. I'm recording this. That's what a dog, Lord have mercy. Let's say. You hear him? Oh my God! Are you serious? You let the dog bite him? Just bite him. <laughs> Record that. I am. Well, look at him. As we watch hey, this video you here, there are three the police day. officers. There's one guy. Why do you need the dog biting on the guy when there's three cops? Wow. Julian. <laughs> Again, they don't think of us as human, but even more than that, Roland. Dogs have been used against us through enslavement. The symbolism of sicking a dog on a black man, that symbolism is a vestige of enslavement. It should not happen. All those people need to be fired, but they gonna have an excuse. They gonna have an excuse. And what we need to do, and that's why your platform is so important, what we need to do is to rise up and say, oh, hell to the no. Stop it. Just stop it. So this is why I'm disappointed that when we had the George Floyd uh, Policing Act, uh, Cory Booker kind of blinked, and he shouldn't have blinked. It's important for these officers to be held accountable. Oh, Congo. Well, first of all, I'll thank Dr. Marvel for reminding us that the, that the police reform bill has not been Pass it failed, you know, given uh, Senator Scott's shenanigans. And I think also when you look at this and when you look at what happened with, with the Haitians as well, these are like just two reminders of, of, of days of the past that are still here in the present. And, you know, with, with these dogs, and, and the, the man already surrendered, already there. And it was just like, okay, we got you. Let's just let this dog chew on you. And then again, after they pulled him off and then put him again on it, this is barbaric. This is barbaric. This is savage. And I hope that there's a lawsuit as well and, and real discipline. But once we get this Police Reform Act actually passed, these officers' names will be hopefully on that list as well. It's crazy, again, uh, Lauren, when you have three police officers. And if you have two cops who can't subdue one man who's already, who's up against the car, no, no, no. These cops wanted this dog to chew on this man. And that's exactly what happened here. Yeah, and the other thing, too, to, of course, take note of is that, you know, these videos are not coming out of Palm Springs or Manhattan. You know, they, they choose people that they think can't fight back against the system. They typically choose poor people. And, uh, you know, the game is changing a little bit on that in terms of civil litigation. But it's uncanny how so many of these videos seem to come out of the same economic, social economic places. Well, it's also why you got to keep shooting video. This is also why the people, <laughs> right. why the people mm -hmm. who want to stop us from being able to record cops uh, need to be stopped themselves. Yeah, absolutely. We wouldn't know about any of this stuff. Imagine what was going on before we had that the first iPhone uh, that came out that really could do really good video. Uh, which isn't that long ago. It was like seven or eight years ago. Because um, you, you had a lot of these folks, uh, again, right. who've been fighting dash cam videos and body cams. Right, to, to absolutely. To this day.
Exactly right. And here's why. And you would think the police would want cameras because, in fact, if you're behaving properly, why do you care what's on the camera? <laughs> See, if you're, if you're doing the right thing, then you shouldn't be concerned about what's on the camera. It actually protects the cops to some degree, they could argue, from any sort of false allegation against them. But it's interesting, the fight against cameras. But see, it's no false allegation against them. They don't want cameras because they don't want people to know what they're doing. They don't want cameras because they don't want transparency. This spit, I said it's spit, Roland, I'm cussing on your air. This spit has been happening since black people have been in this country through enslavement, through Reconstruction, Tulsa, I mean, you know, Wilmington, Delaware, uh, Wilmington, North Carolina, rather, um, 1896. This stuff has been happening. We now have the technology to basically lift it up. But even without the technology, we have the oral histories to know what has happened to our people. And this is the issue that so-called law enforcement is afraid of. They are afraid that they have been operating as a rogue group of racists who feel like whatever they want to, they can basically just um, oppress black people. It's time to be smart. Roland Martin's doing this every day. Oh, no punches! Thank you, Roland Martin, for always giving voice to the issues. Look for Roland Martin in the whirlwind, to quote Marcus Garvey again. The video looks phenomenal, so I'm really excited to see it on my big screen. Support this man, Black Media. He makes sure that our stories are told. See, this difference between Black Star Network and Black-owned media and something like CNN. I gotta defer to the brilliance of Dr. Carr and to the brilliance of the Black Star Network. I am rolling with rolling all the way. Honored to be on a show that you own, a Black man. <laughs> On the show. Folks, Black Star Network is here. I'm real uh, revolutionary right now. Wow. Roland was amazing on that. Stay black. I love y'all. I can't commend you enough about this platform that you've created for us to be able to share who we are, what we're doing in the world, and the impact that we're having. Let's be smart. Bring your eyeballs home. You can't be black on media and be scared. You dig?